So, the girl chosen for this uh, first episode of Wanna Be Bait into a Powerlifter is Heather. And Heather, um, well, I'll let her introduce herself because I'm gonna do a call with her. And I'm super excited, so let's wait and see. Hi, my name is Heather. I'm 27 and from the UK, and I was the winner of the Strong Girls Made into a Powerlifter competition. I started strength training in December, but I hadn't had any real experience in powerlifting, which is one of the reasons why I entered the competition. I kept seeing all these amazing girls on Instagram who were strong and healthy and confident, and I wanted to be like that too. Like a lot of people, I've struggled with body image issues, and I've had an eating disorder, and so I really wanted just to feel confident and happy in my skin. I felt like my training program um, was really holding me back because I lacked confidence in the gym and I didn't really know what I was doing and I felt like ha if I was lucky enough to win that the advice and the tips from the strong girls and everybody would just really boost my training program. My gym time is my happy time and I'm excited to progress and I'm excited to be made into a powerlifter. I am Marluz and I am a competitive powerlifter. At this moment I've been training for two years, training for nationals. Uh, at the end of this year, that will be in December 10th of 2016. Uh, as you probably can hear, I'm not um, English or American, I am from Holland. And um, if you want to know more about me, this is me uh, at my previous powerlift meet, which is about one and a half month, months ago. Uh, I have a video about me just vlogging and I have a video about um, me training now towards the powerlift meet about a little bit how I train and everything. But this video isn't about me at all. This is about um, giving back, giving back to the community. And as you saw in the title, I completely saw this from TV, but it captures what I want to do in one title, so that's the reason why I just copied that title. Uh, so this is made into a power lifter. Enjoy! So first a little introduction, since this, since this is the first beginning of the series and I want to let you know a little bit how I started it, why I started etc. So, um, where did this idea come from? We were discussing with the A7 family and if you don't know the A7, they are the company that designed the bar grip. Click this video for my first review and you'll see them towards the videos and all the, all the videos I post and Instagram post. Follow me there. Um, but like I said, um, we were discussing with the A7 family about giving back to the community and possible ways to do that. Too much said. This is the reason why I started this. Um, because I love being uh, helping others and filming in the YouTube community to let others help me uh, with my technique mostly and, and uh, I find a lot of motivation from a lot of YouTubers to go powerlift um, and I see a lot of people struggle with how to do this and everything or don't have the time to look up all the different types of programs um, which I have done. Uh, I've done a lot of research and a lot of reading, a lot of papers, Lane Norton, Condito and all the strength athlete and all great YouTubers who put some great content out there with lots of useful information. Um, trying out stuff myself to learn the basic, the techniques and everything. And so this is why I came with this idea to help someone else and get made. So next and first off, it was making a selection. So how did we do this? We started with thinking about what, what I could help with and um, make a query for people who were interested to write their, um, their stuff down, like why would they want to do this, um, their age, their goals, how long have they been training, like everything a coach or trainer would ask you at the beginning. But mostly like what is your motivation and why, what have you been trying and why didn't you achieve that? Why would you think this could help you? So this helped, uh, we got a lot of attention. We were like, 
over 20 people commenting with good responses why they wanted to do it. So the choice to find someone was really hard. Um, but with the A7 family, we all picked one. We had one favorite, all of us, and that was Heather. And Heather, her Instagram is at pumpkin pie um, or something like that, but I'll post it down below and right here on the screen. And why did she won? She's a great, sweet girl. She was enthusiastic. She has showed potential. She really wanted to do this and could really have some somebody help her and push her in the right direction. Um, and mostly of all, she, she loved this, but she didn't know how to get further. And um, she noticed that her fun in training uh, was getting less and less and less. So we thought it was the perfect girl. Uh, it could have been a guy too. We got a lot of responses from guys, but we just thought Hadar would be the perfect first candidate for the series. What next? We um, we got in contact and um, we started by a chat, finding out a little bit more about each other, getting to know each other, connect a little bit, um, know where we lived, what we do for work, the day to day life that, that she is living and training. I had a look at our old program and I noticed that she did a lot of high volume at, at almost her maximum amount of uh, uh, 1RM or 1 rep max. And it's good to test it once in a while, but it doesn't necessarily make you, makes you stronger. Um, that's where you need a little bit more volume and volume is reps, repetitions, times sets, times the weight you have to use. So I really want to show you at this moment the begin and the end results of Heather training with me in the four a five weeks because she had a week off. Um, what we achieved and what you can achieve in such a short time if you have the good information, have the good help and have the right motivation and hopefully inspire you. And if you love it and you like it and you think this is something that I really want to do or learn more about the techniques and why Heather improved, then keep on watching. But first, the summary of the beginning and the end results because they're super exciting. Here we go. Okay, so let's take a look at the before and after of Heather's technique. Um, for squats, she started at a, at a run one rep max of 60 kilograms, but she hadn't done that for a little while. And um, as you can see, her squat technique was a little off and I was doubting if the depth would be okay by, reference, by the judge, but I did want to approve and look why that wasn't going as deep as we would want it to be. And we went towards 65 kilogram at the end where she was going a lot deeper and a lot better form. So to and change her technique and go uh, up in strength is really impressive. With Ben, she started at 30 kilograms as a one rep max. Um, as you can see, she was really struggling with that weight or lower weights even. It was a little bit wobbly. I found that uh, probably if we had her a little more tight and everything, um, analyze those and get her technique to be better, she would probably perform way better. Uh, we got it up to an impressive 40 kilograms. I mean, 30 to 40 kilograms in five weeks time. That's really, really impressive. She did just a great job there and I gave her a lot of tips and which you will see further in, but she just listened, she worked hard and she achieved a great amount of kilograms and technique gains. And then for deadlifts, she started at about 80 kilograms, which she haven't, has, hadn't done for a while neither. And um, her form was, I think this was one of her better lifts. Uh, I think she got a lot of strength out of this, but again, the potential was a lot more. Um, so we sent it in some videos and at the end of this, these five weeks, we got it to 85. But um, again, that's a really good improvement in just sh such a short amount of time uh, with also having to learn the technique again and focusing on a lot of different points and adding a lot more volume in her training, like she did lots more squats too, which you see that uh, without even testing her one rep max, this is a calculation. This is really impressive and I'm super proud of her. And this was just the, the perfect beginning of this series to uh, see what you can do in a short amount of time. And I really love working with her, but that's a summary. If you wanna know what we did, how we did it, uh, the improvements we made and see more of the conversations between Heather and me, 
And please keep on watching. We'll start with week one, two, three, and four. And then I'll tell you how to become the next maid com... How do you call it? Contendent? Contendent? The next person to become made into a powerlifter. Hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk you through this and I made a little bit of commentary. Um, I'll show you the footage that fits with this script as I said, because I'm like, I wrote a lot down about things in the, up in the past few weeks that I really wanted to show you guys about. I filmed a couple of things. I asked Heather to film as much as possible, um, but with her uh, strict, or not her strict, but her very tight program with work and two jobs. But I'll tell you more about that. Let's just start at week one. So it was also hard for her to film because her gym was super busy. And of course, it's pretty awkward in the beginning if you haven't filmed before. Um, but Heather was super in helping me out and trying to film as much as she could. I really think it's a combination of having two people work together to make great footage. And she really helped me there. We played around because technique is super personal and I can give her some tips that would potentially uh, help everybody if you look at it um, in a really more mechanical type of way. But then everybody's body is built different and have have... Everybody has different strength, so we played around tweaked and I really asked her to give her good feedback about how did it feel and did it feel off or uh, was it better than before or etc. Et um, and the most important thing, I, I gave her some tips and guidelines uh, to use a safe form, but the option to play around for what suits your body is in my opinion the most important. At the end, it's all about what keeps you safe and keeps you enjoying the time in the gym. So, Heather picked this up really qu uh, quickly. She asked me good questions about training and about programming. And we had a super, and she, had a, she has a super good attitude in the gym. The biggest compliment was that the first week already, she said this was um, so cool. And she, she had fun in training again. And that was the whole point. So the tips and examples for videos and new exercises she didn't know were made by sending videos or examples of me doing it because we live a little far away but to make that possible we just communicate by video and everything and filming a bunch of shit hey heather good morning um i just I, uh, <laughs> starting off good i didn't have coffee yet but uh, i finished up your program and it works with uh, well i'm just going to guide you through but you should just have a look at it when you have the time we also did a lot of focusing on breathing techniques and bracing the right way and especially since heather doesn't use belts or sleeves or wrist wraps or squat shoes this was really a good thing to pay extra attention to um it's not a bad thing, in my opinion, not to have those accessories at the beginning because we all start somewhere and um, learning from scratch without with all the um, with all the stuff you can buy. I don't really think you have the good feeling for what your body is supposed to do and make the squat as as technique wise as good as possible. And if you got the technique down and you know what to do, you know the movement. Then you can go heavier and then you can go help out with a belt or with everything. But for now, I think it's really good to just go really natural. And um, unless you have specific pains or, or just feels better with them, and, and by all means, go ahead and do whatever you take. I'm just saying for this, I wouldn't recommend her unless she really wanted her to get more help, help with it herself. So. I wouldn't recommend someone or I wouldn't say like you have to buy this to continue or whatever. If you don't want to, it's it's really up to you and you should do whatever makes you happy. Um, so let's do a little evaluation about the things in the squat. Um, we checked for the mobility to see the reason for squatting less deep was uh, could be solved by working on mobility or even if it's just a cue in the head, playing with stance, everything. Um, for bench, I found her tightness a little bit off and the bar path. So what you want to see in, in deadlift and squat is like a really vertical uh, bar path. But in, in, in the bench, it's more like 
up above her eyes and then a little triangle towards her chest and then up again um, towards your starting point. So it's more like a triangle base unless the squat, unlike the squat and the deadlift. With that work to the bench, her numbers went up really, really quickly and it kept being really easy for her. So, and I didn't want to injure her or get too much weight there. So we just still slowly, but fast enough added weight. The deadlift form wasn't bad at all here. Uh, we had some little tweaks and watched her back, but that was pretty much fine. And um, for her, I think the, the struggle of the deadlift was mostly mentally. Um, but I think we will, at this time, I thought that wouldn't be a problem at all and it didn't appear to be. Week two. So the program uh, hit very good with Heather. She, had, she was super enthusiastic and she had two jobs at that time. Therefore, she was a little busy combining this with her training, but she still managed to put in the work and increase the numbers last like week. For the upper body, again, we added two and a half and for the lower body squat and deadlift, we added five kilograms. That, that, that was hard for her, but it wasn't a program. It was, it was challenging, especially um, I kept the volume the same as the first week. I wanted to keep the weights the same in the second, in the third week, but raise an amount of volume just to get her a little bit used to, well, she is confident with the, confident with the numbers that she used because she used them last week. So she knew it would be harder, but something she could do. Also, we talked a little bit of it about the macros since she tracked her macros, but didn't want to weigh herself uh, due to an eating disorder, which she was now not struggling with anymore. Um, but she didn't want, didn't feel the urge and didn't want to step on the scale, which I think is really great. And if that works for her, then she should definitely not do that for me. Um, I asked her to send progress pictures because she maybe wants to have a little help with her macros if it wasn't enough or too much or anything. So I had the, so it's a good example of what happened in week three that she felt really hungry waking up and going to sleep and she felt that maybe her energy was a little, could be a little bit higher in the gym. So we raised her calories a bit. Week three and four, she um, had a little off week. She wasn't feeling that great. So and week three, she was too busy to get all our trainings in. She got sick a little after. And we discussed about what you want to do. I told her not to worry, take it easy. And first take the time for work and recover. Then Heather suggested to copy the week's uh, workout for next week. I actually thought that was a good plan and offered her to plan a free extra week after. Um, Heather also decided she wanted to continue the coaching with me after work at that time, which was super special and very rewarding to hear. Um, she already asked me to, oh, can I train with you afterwards and uh, program with you? But I said, okay, let's, let's just first see if we connect and everything. But we did, and uh, we're still working with her now in week, I believe week seven or eight. Eight, no, definitely eight, if it's not more. Um, and she's continuing to grow very well. So the cool thing about this week was that uh, when we started, I asked her for her shirt size and with the family of A7, who showed a lot of love and support for this uh, and helped me out very, I helped me out a lot with everything training and this, this series. So thank you Tatiana and thank you Jason for helping me out and helping Heather out with sending her a package of a lot of cool stuff. Heather loved them and uh, she even made me a little review, which, well, Heather, go ahead and tell them. I have another question. Uh, did, could you give a little review of the shirt that you tried? Oh, I love, uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I've um, only worn the black one and the one with the American flag on it so far. I haven't worn my third one, but I really love the one with the American flag on it. It's so it's, cool, it's right? So it's so cool and it's really well fitted and the bar grip is awesome because some of the bars in my uh, gym are quite old so like the grip is worn away and so having the oh. grip on the back of the shirt really like helps yeah it definitely helps super super cool yeah I l actually I, hmm? sorry I, no because they had a sale didn't they like 25 percent off and i went online i really wanted the one with the bear on it yeah and they didn't have any <laughs> oh no did you Try the uh, USA or the... I just tried the Europe one. But 
I'll have some new ones out and I'll, I'll probably pick up some of those. Yeah, because you have a pretty good art as well and uh, a high bar squat, right? So uh, the new ones, they have the grip all over to the back, so there would probably even be a better one for you. And um, I, I like it more with bench. I mean, my grip at my bar is uh, at my gym isn't that bad, but you definitely feel a difference if you don't wear them. Yeah, no, I really, really like them, and they've replaced like my old gym tops. So. <laughs> good to hear. Good to hear. So that's really cool, um, and I completely agree. Now we go to week five. Hi, just to recap how training has gone this week. Yesterday was. Um, a bench and deadlift day and it was speed and hyper and the bench went fine it felt relatively easy it felt relatively light um and very smooth so great um deadlifts felt heavy but not impossible i got them all up i finished every set that's really good that your bench is feeling so easy because i didn't hold back in the numbers counting on uh, your 1RM. So that means that the program for so far for bench is working really well. And I think we can up the weights next week a little bit. Week 5 was the last week, supposed to be week 4. Um, Heather was super enthusiastic because she said, I'm not beaten by deadlift today. She did the 20, 72 kilograms, which she filled last week. And she struggled with it a lot. But now it flew up. Her technique looked great. So this gave her that really good confidence boost. Um, we worked on squeezing on the way up with her glutes and try to imagine bending the bar so her lats could be more engaged. Uh, what you do is you, you, you pretend to bend the bar like that. So what your lats do and you can feel it is like posing for the people who do posing. Uh, you feel your lats get outward and that's the reason why you engage them because you get a lot of strength during the deadlifts out of, out of your lats. So squats technique were on the issue uh, now. Her form was a little bit wobbly and I thought with all the attention we were giving to her bench and her deadlifts um, this would be a good time to check more about her squat to let her focus on a good squat technique. Um, I let her film different angles because usually you film the side angle or she filmed a side angle but it's super useful sometimes to look at the front or the back especially because I had the feeling when it was a little wobbly when she went down that it could be because her knees were bending out or inward so with the video she showed that her, feet, her knees were going a little bit inward something a lot of people have and struggle with including myself but the benefits of all the mistakes that I made myself is that I learned how to uh, prevent them. And, and mostly what helped her already was cueing herself to keep her ankles outward. And what also really helps is like when you have your feet down on the ground, these are my feet, and you try and bend them outward, like try to bend the earth with your feet. So And, and that automatically cues your feet and your knees to drive outward during your squat. So to end this up, um, we continue to work in progress. We had, we had an MREP session at the end, not to test her one rep max and setting her under that pressure because we were working together for such a short time and training such a short time. I don't really think it's good to test her one rep max so quickly, but there are good calculations. Actually, um, America Muscle made a video about that, which I'll link here, which is really a good, explanation about how to calculate your one rep max without um, without like showing them, uh, without testing them. So if we look at the form and the waist, I couldn't be more proud of what Heather had achieved um, in this little time of training. We're still working together now and Heather, Heather has continued to show that progress, especially bench keeps flying up and she'll be having that one uh, really up high if she continues her strongest lift. Um, squat is going steady and also are the deadlifts and this is a slow program. Remember powerlifting isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Especially for power uh, lifting, building a little bit muscle to gain strength and um, everything. It's, it's much better to also have some more volume, have a little uh, hypertrophy day, have a little speed day, have a little strength day, but just combine them throughout the week. That's called DUP, Daily Underlies Periodization. And I have a whole video in the video of Lane Norton talking and explaining that 
If you are interested in that, do click here because it's a very interesting and good explained video and there's a lot to learn from that proven scientific technology about training. Thank you very much for everything, for helping this, because that's one more thing that I wanted to say. Like, you were su not only super enthusiastic and good at, at your progress, but also um, helping me making videos, uh, something you didn't really use, were used to do. It helps me with the training, but it also helps me with this video that I'm wanting to make. So that puts, you, you put a lot of effort in that too. So thank you for that. No, and thank you for the, like, the program and the help. It's been awesome. It's going to be cool continuing this too. Yes. Yeah, great. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great night. It was nice talking to yeah. you. And you. Bye. Bye-bye.